minute stat increases. That is what the true Elden Lords obsess over. But just to make sure your end game build is maxed out in the talisman department, I'm going to show you how to get the upgraded versions of some of the best ones, to ensure you're not running around with the lesser versions of your favorite talismans. This is not going to show off the talismans that just have a single version, and instead, these will be most all the ones with a plus two variant or ones listed as having greater potency over their basic counterparts. First up is the Erdtree Favor Plus Two, which increases your HP by 4%, your stamina by 10%, and your equipment load by 8%. After you take down Malaketh the Blackblade at the end of the crumbling Feramazula, the main Lindell area will change to the Ashen Capital. Then coming from the Forbidden Lands Grace site, you'll go along this path to enter the city from the back way. In the area with these three big tree spirit dragon things, you'll find the Erd Tree's favor plus two on a wooden structure poking out from the ground. This is a solid all around talisman since it boosts three important stats. Next, instead of relying on the plus two version of the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, we're going to get the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman instead, which boosts your physical defenses by 20%. Now, after you have found the Halig Tree Secret Medallion right by striking this awkward dude who is initially disguised as pottery, and then have found the Halig Tree Secret Medallion left at the top of this castle after its boss, you can take those to the Grand Lift of Rold. Toggle over once when you're interacting with the lift, which will transport you to the consecrated snowfields. Once you're there, head to the far north to reach this abandoned town. Interact with the blue gate, which will transport you to an alternate version of that same area, where you need to light four beacons. One is on the ground level, but the others will be found by doing some rooftop parkour. After you've lit them all, that will open a sealed barrier letting you travel to Mequila's Helic Tree. Make your way through this large area until you find the Drainage Channel Grace Site. Head out the east exit from there and make your way across these branches. Then you'll want to head upwards on the slope until you find a roof with a small hole in it. You'll need to land on the rafters and then kill some enemies guarding a chest. In there will be the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Next, the Shard of Alexander Talisman, which improves the attack power of skills by 15%. You have to complete Iron Fist Alexander's questline for this, and since he's already gone from my game, use your imagination a little here. You'll first have to free him from being stuck in Northern Storm Hill, and it'll just take a big wallop to get him loose. Then after you beat the boss Radon, Alexander will require a bit of lubrication this time to pop him free, and you'll find him near the artist's shack grace site. After all that, you'll have to challenge him to an epic duel. Container vs human, no questions asked. If you're victorious, you'll earn his talisman. That final location you'll find him at is on a large broken bridge in the crumbling Ferrum Azula. Good luck. Next is Radigan's Sore Seal, which increases Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity by 5. And then also Marika's Sore Seal, which increases Mind, Intelligence, Faith, and Arcane by 5. But both of these increase the incoming damage you take by 15%. To get Radigan's Sore Seal, you'll need to head over to the roof of Fort Ferrith. Drop down through there to the middle platform, jump a small gap, drop down again, and you'll find yourself that Talisman. To grab Merica's Sore Seal, head to the Prayer Room Grace site in the Halig Tree. Make your way downward from there until you're on the lower pathway that runs through this area. Down there you'll need to use a Stonesword key to unlock a fog door, and then you'll have yourself that talisman. Next is the Pearl Drake Plus 2 Talisman, which increases your magic, fire, lightning, and holy defenses by 9%. To grab this, head to the Halig Tree Town Grace site and make your way forward to climb up the ladder right in front of you. Turn around and jump a small gap and you'll find yourself that talisman waiting for you. Next up, the Great Jar's Arsenal is an improved version of the Arsenal Charm and will raise your maximum equipment load by up to 19%. Coming from the underground area, you'll need to follow this canyon until you meet this giant pot dude at the end. 
talk to him, and then you'll have to fight three red summon sign invaders. After you have proved yourself worthy, you'll gain the Great Jar's arsenal. Next, to get the Graven Mass Talisman that increases sorcery damage by 8%, which is the greater version of the Graven School Talisman. In the Consecrated Snowfields, you'll need to find Albaneric Rise, which is a little puzzle tower. You have to get the two imps that are patrolling around the back of this tower to fight each other by using a bewitching branch item on one, or you can summon the fanged imp spirit, which works as well. After that, you'll be able to head up to the top of the tower, and you'll find yourself this sorcery boosting talisman. Next is the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, which increases your attack power by up to 22% for landing hits in quick succession. This is acquired towards the end of Millicent's questline, which is a huge, huge quest chain. Near the drainage channel grace site in Mechula's Halog Tree, you'll need to help her take on a bunch of invaders, and if you're successful in defending her, you'll have yourself the attack boosting Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. If you manage to get this far into her quest, just a few more steps after, we'll get you Phlox Canvas Talisman. This greatly increases the potency of incantations. After obtaining Mechula's Needle at the end of Millicent's questline, you'll need to kill Gowrie in a shack. That'll drop you this improved incantation talisman. To get the Viridian Amber Medallion Plus 2, which increases your max stamina by 15%, you'll need to head to the Halog Tree Town Plaza. Head along the rooftops, drop down past the first slug, and then turn around to jump into the room underneath the roof you're just on. In there you'll find a chest with that stamina boosting talisman. Then there's the Cerulean Amber Medallion Plus 2, which increases your max FP by 11%. You have to do most all of Rani the Witch's extensive quest chain before you can reach the area this is in. After traveling through the underground Lake of Rot area in the Ansel River, you'll eventually take an elevator back above ground. Then head to the Lunar Estate Ruins, where you'll find this talisman behind a hidden passageway after using a Stonesword Key. And very last, we have the Crimson Amber Medallion Plus 2, which gives a 7.5% increase to your HP. After you take down Malaketh, head to the Lindell Capital of Ash, and you'll find an open grate towards the center of that area. Drop down through that, and you'll find yourself this health boosting talisman. And with all that, those were most all the improved versions of talismans you'll likely need to max out your build. There are plenty of really good talismans that don't have improved versions, but I felt like those were much more extensively covered already. Thanks for watching Boomstick Gaming today, I'm Alex, and I'll see you again soon in the next upload.